Greetings YouTubers. Well today something a little bit differently. We are going to be reviewing a Pet Kit Smart Auto Pet Feeder for a cat and dog or small animals. It is a food dispenser. It has a Wi-Fi app for your phone where you can actually go in and feed it or set it up on a timer if you're away. If you have an animal or a cat outside, this is great. You don't have to worry about it if you're going to be gone a couple days feeding the cat or anything. This one here I paid $76 for basically $76.49. It came with free shipping and some of the photos here uh, it's pretty pretty big. So the photos are uh, pretty nice here. You get a nice clear view of what it looks like and it has a magnet on the bottom of the bowl that detaches from the uh, unit itself so you can take that off and clean it and also on the top you can actually open it up put the cat food in you can control the schedule of feeding and everything on your phone. Uh, these here um, are pretty nice because you can set them up on a timer if you're gone a few days and uh, you uh, forgot about your cat. Well, this thing here will do everything for you. And you can see, take it apart, you clean it and everything, and you get a little cable and all that. So uh, I did get it in the mail and it did arrive in one big package. And there's a look at it there, how it uh, comes apart and everything. And there's what's really cool, you can kind of take that off. And I'm hoping it's got really good seals on it, keep out the bugs and so forth from getting into it and contaminating it and all that. And it looks like it's made fairly well. And there's a lot of these online. You can get these anywhere from um, $50 to $60 all the way up to about three or $400. So let's go ahead and open up the box and see what it looks like. All right, so there's the box that came in. And uh, it's a pretty tall box, almost 17 inches tall by nine inches wide. And um, we'll go ahead and open this up. All right, so we'll go ahead and start opening this up here and see if it made it in one piece okay. Although the box looks like it's in pretty good shape. So, and uh, get some of this open here. Probably gonna be a lot of styrofoam packaging in here. And uh, looks like you get a, something here. Probably paperwork with it and everything as I knock it over. And let's see, we got a little guy there. And go ahead and slide it out of the box. Packing material and there's some stuff in the bottom here of the uh, container. Let's see what we got down here. Looks like uh, the feeding bowl itself. And some more manuals and so forth. Of course, everything is taped up here. Get this tape off real quick. Go ahead and that. Put the packing material off the side, and it looks like this is the bowl. So there's the unit itself. Let's see how it goes. Okay, it looks like it goes like this. And we got some more tape here. Take all this off. And open that up. And that kind of goes like that. And there we have our pet feeder. And I guess, so we've got a button there for something. And it looks like on the back here, you push on this. And this will allow you to do something here. Let's see. All right, so that's how we feed it and everything. Give it food. And we've got some more packaging. And this is probably the power cord, I would say. Yep, a little power cord. Now, from what my understanding is, from what I read, you can actually put batteries in this for backup, like D-sized batteries or something. And there's a look at the inside. Looks like it's got a little wheel there, a little thing that spins around. And it's got a sensor down there, it looks like. And got a reset button on the top. A lot of instructions and so forth. And let's see, on the front here, I want to, actually, this comes out here clean it which is really nice and there's a look at that the gears and how it works and all that so fairly well made uh, someone put some thought into this some thought process I'm not sure what that is for that little lot button back here or, or a little clear piece of plastic I probably would think it's a sensor to tell you when the cat food is getting low or something so we got that and on the front here um, see how well the seals made because you don't want bugs getting into this thing and there is that let's see if we can open this up here my fingers well it's moving anyway 
There we go. And there we go. It's got a little rubber seal right there. So that looks like it would seal up really nice. That is a good thing. So slowly push that back together like that. Probably shouldn't uh, move that too much. Do not touch the food outlet door once food is released. So it probably recess itself or something. So there's a look at that. Now let's go ahead and open up this uh, feeder bowl. It looks like this is going to be probably a magnet type, which will just kind of stick on the front of it. Dis dispenser is what I should be calling it. And uh, boom. Yeah, that's pretty nice. All right, so it stays on there pretty good. No problems there. Nice little magnet. And all that so what we'll do is uh, we'll put some cat food in it and we have to download an app on my phone in order to actually see it work and all that and go from there and there's the top of it here we've got some more uh, things here we can actually they actually give you these little uh, disinfectants that you can put in here I guess to keep it clean you can put something on the top here that's what this is actually for right here you open this up do not drop disinfectant into the cat food of course and all that so this will keep it nice and clean and all that so we'll go ahead next and download the app and go from there and there's a lot of instructions here on how to set it up and everything so it'll take me a little while to figure this out also we have another thing here a little oh that's a looks like some kind of a lock I'm not sure what that's all about but anyway have a look at it Fairly big for, you know, almost $80. I think it's going to do the job fairly well for what I need anyway. Now, so we have our manual here, our Pet Kit Fresh Element Mini Smart Pet Feeder Instructional Manual. And it's well written. A lot of pages here. Everything's in color, which is kind of nice. And it shows you everything you kind of need to know or want to know about it. And there's stuff on the back, specifications and all that, lid, and how to operate the thing. So... There's that. So, so far, everything seems to be uh, fairly uh, easy to put together and read. And also, we should be able to get this thing working fairly quickly. All right, so we'll go ahead and download the Pet Kit app on Google or wherever they say it's at. And apparently, it is free. So, uh, let's see if we can find it in here Pet Kit International, Pet Kit Dog. Oh, so, we'll have to go through here. And try to figure out which one I need to download. All right, it's uh, been six months since we uh, seen the last video clip here, and you saw me trying to put the app on this phone. This is an old Samsung Galaxy, uh, I believe, uh, S5 from 2013 or 2014. Pretty old. It only had 16 gigs of memory. There was just not enough uh, room on here to put that app. So I retired this phone when everything went to uh, pretty much... Um, 4 and 5G. This was only a 3G phone. So my new phone here is an A71 Galaxy and it has 128 gigs of memory, no problem. Now I did download the Pet King app and all that and it seems to work pretty good. And you can see now I've got it pretty much set up and over the last six months I've had no problem. I've got my uh, date here uh, kind of set for the days I want it to be fed, uh, the cat to be fed three times a day. And it does take a while to get used to this, so you have to go through here and kind of figure out what you want to do. You can go in here and you got all these days at the top here you can set. Right now I have these things set up for three times a day, a quarter of a cup. And you can see I have it kind of set up here three times a day, a quarter of a cup and so forth. And of course my cat's name is Big Boy. And if I go in here you can see Here's some more scheduling you can do. You can do the cup sizes differently for today. And if I want to do a snack, I can go up here and uh, say snack. And uh, it'll come out today. You can even put a time it for a snack, which is pretty cool. And you have more settings here. You can go in here and you can set it. You know, child lock, uh, indicator light. If it's, uh, you, you can have the indicator light on. Light time, uh, you can have it on all the time. Uh, Wi-Fi. I'm using my own Wi-Fi here, so it's not a problem. I have a good signal and all that. And uh, let's see, there's all kind of little things in here you can kind of get into. And uh, download was pretty fast with this. 
and you can set it up for all kind of notifications every time it, it beeps or even feeds uh, your animal it'll tell you the date and time you can see this is actually going back to march we're in april but i've been running this thing for six months and i bought this phone i think around january so see all the notifications that i got you can spend an hour on this phone and continuously just uh, uh, play around with it and kind of make it to your own custom uh, settings the way you want it. And you can check out healthy uh, feeding and all that. So, I mean, there's some stuff here I haven't figured out yet, but obviously it works pretty good. And you can set up your own profile and all that. And, of course, you can make it a cat, dog, or whatever you have. And you can see even one of the uh, to-do lists here. I need to change the disinfectant. It's been about 30 days. So I wanted to see how long that would go until it reminded me. So it's pretty nice to see that. All kind of little things here you can set this up with uh, for reminders. And there it is. It's been set in here for about six months. And uh, so far I've filled it up probably, I don't know, probably five or six times. Uh, one big bag of cat food I could pick up at Walmart for about ten dollars will last almost three to four weeks And you can see the tray. Yeah, it's easy to clean a little dirty right now, but uh, it's pretty nice uh, It would be really cool if it had a webcam here We can actually kind of look here, but I do have a webcam set up on the other side of the room When I'm gone, I can kind of zoom over and look and see if it's been you know kind of working Okay, if the cat's been eating okay, which is kind of nice and of course the top, you know, very easy to get in here and kind of change uh, the disinfect if you need to do that. I'll probably do that later today. I'll probably have to order some new ones. But it has not been any problem. It's worked flawlessly. Uh, no problems. Um, even when I'm gone, you know, I can now just check the webcam and also confirm that it's working okay, which is really nice. So overall, I'm really happy with it and it's really saved me a lot of time worrying about feeding my cat. Of course, the cat has a little door that it'll go in and out of the house on one of the doors in the house, which makes it nice. So it's kind of like it's got its own little castle with a big house and its own feeder. And I will tell you, the longer you don't use this app, the more you'll start forgetting how to use certain things here. So you kind of have to go in here once in a while and kind of figure out uh, how to do things and remind yourself. And when you first start up the app, when you want to go in here, it'll tell you here on the bottom that your device is online and it is working just like it should. And if I want, I can go in here and it's already set up. I can say, give the cat you know, a snack. Anytime you want, you just hit save. And Which is a pretty big snap. That's actually three-fourths of a cup. I normally don't give the cat a snack. I just basically stay on the schedule that I have. And another side, and on a side note, if you do lose power for a few hours, as long as you have your batteries in the back of this thing, when the power comes back on, your Wi-Fi comes back on, it'll connect right up, no problem, which is kind of nice. So, yeah, I think it's a pretty cool little feeder. I never would have bought it, but I'm gone occasionally, and it's kind of nice to know that my cat has been taken care of. So hopefully I've answered some of your questions. There's probably a lot better tutorials online and everything, but I just wanted to give you my experience of this thing. And that's easy to take care of. I'm not having problems. Just make sure you keep in a dry area away from anything that would fall on it. And I think you're going to be happy. And this thing here should last uh, several, several years ahead. All right, so hopefully you found this video uh, maybe a little informational for you. And thanks for watching, guys. And until my next video... I will see you later.